Hey, what is going on guys? Jolts here, and today we have a look at all the weapon manufacturers in Borderlands 3. Uh, we have Hyperion, Vladov, Dahl, Atlas, Malawan, Tidior, a new one, it might be Iridian, Torg, and Jacobs. So first off, you can see here we have Hyperion, and they look pretty different. Uh, you still have the red stripe and the black skin, but for the most part, these look pretty different. I like that. And down here, we have the description of what they do, and we have aim down sights to take cover behind a weapon-mounted shield and keep your finger on the trigger for increased accuracy. Now earlier in the trailers we did see a shield over the characters and that is actually from the weapon itself from Hyperion. That's a cool feature and it looks like that Hyperion will be a little more defensive. Now we have Vladov and I'm just gonna say now all the weapons look different. They're not like they are in Borderlands 2 and they're doing completely different things too. And we have this thing here which has rockets on the front of it which is pretty awesome. And down here we have the description, augment these rapid firing ammo hungry guns with under barrel attachments including tasers, rocket tubes, and additional gun barrels. That sounds like a lot of fun. Alright, onto Doll, we have the same kind of color scheme like in the previous games. We got that green color camo and also the kind of white and blue camo. This one might lean more towards how it was in Borderlands 1. And look at this thing right here. I don't know what it is, but I'm very curious about that. And for the description, we have toggle between alternate fire modes depending on your playstyle, your predicament, and your predilection bonus damage. That's pretty cool because in the previous games, Doll has been all over the place. We have, you know, fully auto, and then we have burst fire for Borderlands 2, and yeah, it, it's going to be pretty cool to choose your firing patterns. Now, onto Atlas, we have some pretty crazy stuff here. Atlas did not return in Borderlands 2, uh, but it was a thing in Borderlands 1, but it was never this kind of crazy. And down here, we have step 1, hit your enemies with tracker tags. Step 2, unleash a hail of smart bullets that track towards your targets. And step 3, loot. So it seems like if you have like bad aim or something like that, you can probably go Atlas and kind of, you know, hit easier because your bullets are going to be smart and kind of track your targets. On to Malamon, we have four more weapons, a pistol, and I'm not even going to guess those because I have no idea. But Malamon has a really clean, futuristic look and I really do enjoy that. And the super cool thing here is Malamon now has toggling between two elements. So you can go corrosive and fire, you can go shock and corrosive, or whatever you want. Charge your weapon and deal a guaranteed elemental damage with your finger glued to the trigger. I remember seeing in the trailer we had this kind of charged shot, and that looks like a Malawan weapon. On to TDR. So TDR looks to be about the same. Uh, you chuck it, it explodes like a grenade. Uh, you can see down here, toss your gun like a grenade to reload. Then watch it pursue a nearby enemy as a fully loaded version digits drugs in your hands. TDR sounds pretty similar to how it was in Borderlands 2. Now, this is speculation, but the scene where you had the gun that was running on legs, that could be a TDR weapon. It looks very similar to a TDR weapon, and that'd be a really cool feature to have in the game. Now, onto the crazy new weapon type. Um, it looks like Iridian Tech. Anyways, you can see that we have these crazy, futuristic, kind of sci-fi-like guns. So reading the text down here, we have enjoy uninterrupted damage dealing courtesy of infinite ammo magazines, occasionally interrupted by unpredictable overheating. Now the word here is infinite. So in Borderlands 1, Iridian Weaponry had infinite ammo, and that leads me to believe that these are probably Iridian weapons. Now as for the overheating part, that is a new mechanic, and I hope it doesn't, you know, take away from the weapon too much, but we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so on the Torg, we have four new weapons here, and I do want to point out, this looks like a sniper. We didn't have Torg snipers in Borderlands 2, we did in Borderlands 1, so I'm very curious to see how that's going to work. And down here for Torg, we have switching between regular and sticky projectile fire modes. Stickies do more damage if a bunch of them detonate on the same target. So it sounds like just like Doll, we have two kind of firing patterns and we can choose what we want to do with our guns. Now back in the first game we had all elements for Torg and then in Borderlands 2 it was only explosive. I do want to point out on the side of the gun here you can read the word explosive so it might still be locked to only explosive, which would make sense. And finally we have Jacob, so you can see here we have four guns and it has like an old school kind of look, uh, that's kind of how Jacob's has always been. And at the same time too we kind of have a modern look with it too, and I think it turned out pretty well. For Jacobs, deliver devastating critical hits to enemies, soft and sensitives, then joy puke as bullets ricochet towards other targets. Now right there, that sounds pretty awesome. So Jacobs is going to have bullets that ricochet, and that's a really cool mechanic for the gun. Finally, I do want to point out that Bandit does not appear on this page at all, so I don't think Bandit's going to be returning. So let me know below what you guys think about all this, and go ahead and comment below what your favorite manufacturer for the uh, new bonuses are. And of course, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like because that'd be awesome. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah, peace out.